Hey everybody, grab a regular piece of paper and a pen laying around the house and let's draw some scribble trees together. You're gonna find it therapeutic, I promise. Now, in my last YouTube video called You Can Draw, I shared with you how I went like 20 years of my life saying that I could not draw. And later in life, I dedicated myself to practice and this was one of the practices that I applied myself to. I want you to hold your pen really loosely and make the scribbles as loose and free as you can without overthinking it. And we're going to start with just kind of sketching a little bit of a trunk look, like a little straight line, and then scribble, 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 little pointy kind of scratchy little um, marks that are going to represent branches. And as you do this, don't overthink it, don't try to make it too perfect because the idea is to create the illusion of the tree. We don't want we don't want it to be like photographic looking. It's just a scratchy kind of piece of art. And you work your way down with the trunk so you don't like draw one big straight line and then fill it all in. You just kind of scratch scratch the trunk and then work your way into these little tiny pointy branches. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that close to the base of the, or closer to the trunk itself, the branches are thicker and fuller, and that's kind of natural when you when you look outside at trees. And then they get pointier as they stretch out, out to the sky, and so we'll do that too. We'll let our scribbles get skinnier, and then fill in a little bit of foliage in between the branches, because that would be natural as well. Here and there, there'd be a speck or polka dot or a little scribble on its own that would just reflect the messiness of tree branches. And as I work my way down where it gets fuller towards the bottom of the tree, my scribbles get bigger and wider and a little looser that way too. And that would be the natural look as well. So here's a few little tips for you. And you can scribble darker trees towards the front and then lighter trees towards the back if you wanna make some perspective. And have fun with this. It's very, very therapeutic when you can kind of let your mind go. Now, one more tip about trees, um, the shape of them would be the trunk and the branches reaching usually up to the sky, but some of them droop down too. And that is the shape we're creating, but we're not using lines, we're using scribbles. And so create that shape with the scribbles, imagine that shape, but don't draw those lines. I think one of the best things that we can practice as we learn to draw is keeping our hands loose and scribbling, doing scribble trees is an excellent way to practice that. I often think that with art, a huge obstacle is perfectionism. We try to be way too perfect and strict with ourselves when really we've got to let go. And so thank you for letting go with me today. On my next YouTube video on my channel, Mary Janelle Artistry, I'm going to do a digital version of Scribble Trees on my iPad to get this effect. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.